Welcome to the upgrade tour for microsurvey Field Genius 7. My name is Yi Fan Xia, and I am the mobile product manager with microsurvey. I want to take a few minutes of your time and go over some of the new features in Field Genius 7. The first one is stakeout routine. We have significantly improved stakeout graphics and workflow in Field Genius 7. In addition to the traditional map view, you can now choose compass view or grid view. You can also select different viewing directions, and our new Next Point button provides you with a variety of options to select the next staking point. The second feature is improvement to instrument reconnection. You now have the option to automatically reconnect to the previous instrument. This will happen in three scenarios. One application startup, one instrument resumes from hibernation, or one device comes back in range after connection was dropped. If the Always Auto Reconnect option is checked, the instrument will be automatically reconnected without user intervention. The third item is improved project creation workflow. We have centralized all of the project settings in one location and can be saved as a default. This combined with instrument reconnection allows you to create a new project and go to map view with only two clicks and improves work efficiency greatly. For ASCII export routine, we have added the option to allow user define formats. You can create or edit a custom output format by selecting predefined fields in the drop-down list and the number of fields is unlimited. The next item we're going to talk about is Bluetooth Device Manager. You can save all of your Bluetooth enabled devices in the Device Manager, provide a memorable name, and they can be connected to in the future without having to search for them again. In addition, the Bluetooth device profile can be transferred to other data collectors by copying the setting XML file. Similarly, we have also added an Entrip Caster Manager you can save all of your Ntrip settings and switch between them without entering the settings again. The Ntrip profiles can be transferred to other data collectors by copying the same setting XML file. The next improvement is in GNSS tolerance settings. When the tolerance override setting is checked, the GNSS measurements can still be stored even when the tolerance is exceeded. In this case, a warning icon will be displayed when storing points with inadequate status. We have also moved auto skip statistics and auto store measurement options to the tolerance profiles for easier workflow and allows you to store points faster. Last but not least, we have added a new multi backside routine that can be utilized to combine multiple control points and calculate a more precise backside orientation for your total station setup. Finally, we have added support for many new instruments, data collectors, geos, and coordinate systems. We have also planned many more exciting features in future service packs for version 7, so please keep checking back with us. Thanks for watching.